soil. And when it comes to the coffee itself, to the berries, yeah, because it helps this outer covering, yeah. it helps in terms of improving the quality okay. so that it can stay longer once you've harvested. And when it comes to drying, it is easier. Okay. Yeah. And another thing, boron. I can see boron is very, very low. What is that? Boron is also another nutrient. At the end of the day, the most important thing to your coffee is the berries. Berries. So boron affects the berries in terms of the quality, in terms of the size. Size. Size uh -huh. and the weight. How will Mavuno help me to meet all those nutrients? For Mavuno, we have different range of products based on the crops that you're growing. There is Mavuno for maize, for tea, for coffee, potatoes, rice, bananas, fruits, vegetables, sugarcane, wheat, and barley. So for coffee, it has all those nutrients that you want. First, it has NPK, that is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. And additional to that, it has secondary nutrients and micronutrients that are very, very important about the coffee and the berry okay. development. In this case, what yeah. would you advise her to, to do? We have to use Mavuno so that we can actually help in terms of neutralizing the acidity, first mm -hmm. of all. And also at the same time, we're neutralizing acidity, at the same time supplying the nutrients to the particular mm -hmm. coffee. What makes Mavuno fertilizer to be better than others? So, as for this coffee, yeah. we've done research on it. So it's actually fertilizer that's actually released based on the research that mm -hmm. we've done. Mm -hmm. So it's that way specifically okay. for that. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is because we have the, all the nutrients I told you, NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium and sulfur as the secondary nutrients, mm -hmm. and the other micronutrients, zinc, boron, mm -hmm. copper, molybdenum, and manganese, mm -hmm. that are very, very important mm -hmm. to your berries. Okay. That's why Mavuno is actually better when mm -hmm. it comes to that. Wow, now that we are equipped with all this information, mm -hmm. yes. I don't know, maybe we should go straight into applying the fertilizer? Yes, what do you think? I'm very ready. All right, let's do it. Yeah. When applying fertilizer to coffee trees, it's important that you get the fertilizer as close to the roots as possible. Otherwise, the plant won't fully benefit and you're just wasting money. So, using the farthest edge of the leaf canopy as a guide, dig a trench around the tree. This is also where the roots have extended to. Use 250 grams of fertilizer per tree six months before flowering. Spread evenly along the trench. Don't leave the fertilizer uncovered as sunlight can stop the fertilizer from working. So cover and mix well into the soil. That's it. I'm sure next year, Cecily's coffee trees will once again be at full strength.